All righty. Hello, everybody. Uh, me and Captain Chris, he's he's on a short week vacation north of where he usually lives, fishing and skiing and water gliding. I, I made up part of that. He's barely fishing. But anyway, he's having a good time with the family. Fireworks tonight. He said he would uh, record them. Yeah, well, it, it actually brought to mind uh, earlier this morning talking about time freedom, <clears throat> how rare it is. I remember my wife, Dawn and me, would, would take trips sometimes up to uh, Cherry Hill and Morristown, which is ritzy place of New Jersey, really, except Princeton, and go to the you know, million-dollar homes. And we always notice you go, nobody's home. Beautiful place, but nobody's there. Why? Because they got to pay for that beautiful place. That's not time freedom. To me, that's just not, it, it's not what it meant. And I didn't know if it exists. I believe this, and, and I wouldn't say it if I really didn't believe it, um, passive is the only chance I've ever seen of what you call time freedom, which I talked about yesterday, just, just $10 an hour. Now, that's not going to be the case. It's not paid by the hour, but I wanted to give a, a, an example. When you make money 24-7 around the clock because we're global, and you put that on automation, that money comes in whether you time in or time out. That's the beauty of it. And eventually, you will get to the point where maybe you match your income that you're getting now working 40 hours a week or 50 hours a week. And, they, and eventually it could be to where you're making even more than you did when you work. And the beautiful part is when you get to the point where you and your spouse are making more than both of you combined and it's going and you're, and you're building and you're helping other people and you go where you want, when you want, uh, not worrying about, well, can we afford to go? That is crazy. That is crazy. And I truly believe that gift is in Unpassive. I believe Unpassive is the road to financial freedom. Not just the freedom, but the financial freedom. If you read below, I looked that up and that's what it said. Financial freedom is the ability to live comfortably without worrying about money, debt, or income. Both of these freedoms are possible, but they are require they require planning, discipline, and action. And the beginning says, what is the difference between time freedom and financial freedom? Time freedom is the ability to choose how you spend your time without being constrained by the obligations, deadlines, or expectation. And then financial freedom, I already read. To have both of those, that is a gift, without a doubt. There's people that have it, but not as many as you think. Even people you think are rich, yeah, they might make a lot of money. But the second they stop, doing a surgery, working on teeth, um, heart, whatever it is, whatever their, their, their profession is, that slowly backs down again because they're not working. With Unpass, have you put the work in? Uh, it's, not, it's not charity. Uh, you get paid by commissions by how many products are sold through your business. But you can enhance that or you can let it run organically. I don't want to play with time. For me, I don't want to play with time. I'm not going to uh, say, well, and try to do some estimate where I have X amount of years left. Listen to me. I've met people that ran, jogged, took care of themselves, and one day, kaplopper. They're no longer here. We have no guarantees. 
So I want to get wherever we're doing quickly. I want to spend time. I did a lot of crazy stuff when I was a kid, but I really want to be able to take my grandchildren, take my regular children and Dawn and have fun. I, I want to meet founders. I want to meet, maybe we all meet somewhere, which would be cool instead of just on Oak Connect or just uh, a meet and greet where we could go and enjoy. Uh, I Eventually, I want to get a home that's bigger and more room and invite people over, have space for them to have, you know, a little bit of privacy and just talk about some really cool stuff that we did in the last five, 10 years. So that's powerful. And I always tell people, you know, when I'm passing, this is just me now, is when it comes along and you have it, know your business. You don't have to be a genius. Know what you have. I'm going to purchase everything that is offered because I want my virtual so-called shop full of everything there is to offer. So as people are walking through or coming through, they come in, they come in and the, the, the shelves are stacked. This is all virtual, okay? Don't get crazy. And if somebody wants it, they get it, I get paid a commission. And I, I just think that's the least I could do considering this potentially multi-million dollar business was handed to me, and I'm going to say it, for free. At this point in time now, I haven't put anything into Unpassive. This is my opinion. I paid $97 over five and a half years ago. I got that back the first time I bought O-Connect, purchased it. I got ten dollars from my credit, like I'm getting, I'm getting paid to walk. Okay, so they gave me ten dollars for that. I got three months special, which turned into eight, nine months. I got O Connect from. If you add it up, I owe the company money. I'm in for free right now, and the and the one one of the coolest things I talked to Chris about this today many times. You always put a value on things. I work an hour. I want $20 an hour. I work, you know, I do this. You, you put a value to it. My opinion, the journey of meeting people in Unpassive was priceless. You'll see how valuable it really is. When the money starts coming, I understand people are hurting. No doubt. Everybody gets it. But Mr. Mufara knows it. Doesn't make it happen any quicker. You want it done right. I don't want, well, I'd rather have it six months ago and it runs for a year. No, I want it when it's ready and I want it to run it for my children, my grandchildren. So I can't wait. Uh, some of the ideas I heard about Obless, some of them blew me away, by the way. Chris knows what I'm talking about. There's many that we heard. There's many that people had ideas for. I, I believe done right, we're going to change the world. For people, listen, there but the grace of God go I. Meaning you see somebody on the street and you say, you always put a, a title on it. Well, that bum, I can't believe he's late. One situation can is the difference between living okay and being on the street. A lot of the people on the street didn't plan on it. Life gave them a raw, a raw deal or something happened. Maybe it was financial. Maybe it was their spouse left them and, and they get into a deep depression and they just gave up. Nobody wants to feel like crap and unwanted. No one, no one in their right mind. So that's just crazy to think that. But I love the idea that we're going to be part of uh, changing lives. But the other part is everybody, and this is the way I start reading on passive, even even Obless, 
is we're working our way to time freedom, financial freedom. You have the money, doesn't matter. You go where you want. Somebody calls, Chris says, hey, Marty, I'm going blank, 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 blank next Saturday. You want to go? Yeah, why not? Boom, we go. That's time freedom. Something happens to my car. As soon as it happens, I go, oh, my God. In my mind, I'm thinking, okay, what am I not going to pay? Imagine just being able to fix it. Um, and the beauty also that blew me away as I was looking at numbers and because I'm passive is blind to everything, color, nationality, country, whatever. I get my first $500. I'm going to go, wow, that's amazing. But picture the same 500 going to that poor lady or poor man in Africa for the first time. That is crazy amount of money. And because, because the company is no, it doesn't care who you are. X amount for commission for you, for Bobby, Johnny, Larry, Harry, Mary, doesn't matter, same amount. And, and, and eventually, because people were drawn in by the heart, which I'm really glad now. I know people said, well, I don't understand everybody. Nine out of eight out of ten people tell me no. It's because they didn't see it here. And that's okay. If you're in on passive and you're a founder, you were meant to be. There's millions that will come in. No doubt about it. I hear people say, Oh, my family takes some credit. My family has think has thought I was crazy for I don't want to exaggerate. 45 years, maybe a little more. From, from my teenage years, I wasn't, I did crazy stuff. I did stuff that a lot of kids didn't do. I go, hey, I need money. Now, my dad would give me what he could, but he wasn't that type. He was like, you want money? Go work for it. So I went out, crazy stuff like this. I'm going to mow lawns. I got a cheap lawnmower. Like Chris, I learned how to build them. I could build a lawnmower in a couple hours. I mean, everything. Rip it apart, put it all together. It was nothing. It's fun, actually. I'd pull the wagon behind my bike. I had this big-ass, ugly bike. I mean, stone ugly. First thing I did is I ran around, and I put these little cards in everybody's window, either on their windshield wiper blade or on their home. Ran around like everywhere. Put out many, 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 many. Then I started getting calls. People don't want to mow their grass. So I'd go up. I never knew what to charge. I would do it for hardly anything. But, you know, I was making money every week. And and they some of them are, hey, come back every 10 days. This one, next one, come back every seven days until I tell you to stop. I made a good income, young kid. My friend, and then I, I was the first one out of my friends that had a car because I worked. And we got a McDonald's, and for under five bucks, you could get two quarter pounders with cheese, two large fries, and a chocolate shake. Crazy thing to remember. That's why he got a trivia question. But I mean, and I would pay for all my friends because I thought I was Howard Hughes. But the point is, back then, I knew. It's possible. When I saw somebody else do something, I go, if they can do it, we can do it. If they can do it, you can do it. And last night, we were in uh, Oran's, and I, I did a confession. I think the women in Unpassive are the strongest women I've ever seen in business, without a doubt. And I'm not doing this because I'm afraid, I'm afraid of half of them. I am. But I mean, it's because I mean it. They, I, I'm not kidding. Some of these women came out, spoke, speak to everybody. They they run things. They're very organized. Men are like, dun, 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 dun. you know, that's what we do. We don't read a map because we know a shortcut. It's never short. We put stuff together and it's parsed in my hand still. Oh, they must have just gave me extra. 
No, that's why the table falls to one side. You don't have a leg on it. But the point is, we're, we're all going to work. We're, we're going through this journey, which is preparing us, I believe, for financial freedom. We're going to know, or a better idea, if we if we plug in, listen to some words of wisdom from Mr. Mufara. Hopefully, myself and Chris say things that inspire you to think. But I want you to go talk to, go go to a meeting. Go to a meeting. Go to a meeting where you feel comfortable. Raise your hand. Talk with people. Ask them what they think. Ask each other. And you'll be surprised how much info you get back because you need to be prepared. Right now, right now, most of us have a nine to five mentality. You were told what to do, when to do it. Some of you for almost 40 years, some of you 20, some, some of you 10. You, you're told when to get up, when to go to work, how much vacation you get when the clock out, when the clock in, and if they don't need you, they lay, lay you off. You're just a number. And on passive, you own the business. And you could put a little more time into it, not a lot. And once you set it up, there's something I said, I want everybody to remember this. What did he say? Traffic. We're going to own it. And let me tell you something. The hardest thing out there, I don't care if you're email marketing, MLM, dropship, whatever you want to call it, traffic is the hardest thing to get. And I'm not cold calling. Oh, go get 50 no's. I got a no for you. No, I'm not doing that. But if I can pay to get quality traffic, part of my part of my profits are going to that every day every time i can because i want to cut time frames like mr ella said get to where i want to get right i know what comfortable is i'm not money hungry i'm not in fact i don't want to think about money i hear people say i'm going to invest i'm going to go here i'm going to i'm going to budget this i'm going to get bowl i'm going to pay somebody i'm going to double check but i'm going to pay somebody else to do that and obviously i'll be on top of it but i don't want to think about it i i think that's part of the the downside of it because it becomes your your go-to money is nothing but a piece of paper we have to have it to buy stuff i want to spend time with people i when i see somebody hurting i want to go by my heart and say is there anything i can help you with well, I don't have this. I don't have that. I looked at it this way. You know, this is a cool thing. Remember this. Even if you become financially independent or wealthy, okay, you're going to hire people. You will wind up maybe hiring people. So you, so you, you are helping people. And you look and you can say, okay, maybe I need somebody that works on the yard. And they normally get X amount of dollars. Double it. Whatever, stuff like that. I mean, we're going it, to, it's a good thing. And never give anything. You got people you love, people that told you no. This is my opinion. I don't give bounded positions away. I walk this walk and part of my family did not. And I know if you're making it real well, they're going to come up. Oh, my God, we're rich. No, 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 no. I'm rich. You just a relative. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I mean, of course, you're going to help family. Nobody's going to leave their family behind. But you could you could get a reseller position, give it to somebody. Even if you want to buy them a package of O Connect, O Trim, o, whatever, right? You give them the package, say here. And they said, what do I do now? I said, well, you could make up a little page and ask the company to drive traffic to your site. When am I going to do that? You're going to make a few bucks as soon as you get it, put it back in. Yeah, but can't you do No, yeah, I could. 
but I'm not going to. Because we did take the journey and we, we took a, we took some crap over it. And that's okay. That doesn't bother me. People bad mouth. I, I, I'm never worried about that crap. But anyway, I just wanted to say we're on our way to financial freedom. There is nothing out there in the world that can compare to unpassive. I know the site's down and this is going on. This is going on. I'm telling you, when it's like this and it's quiet, there's a rumble in the jungle. There is a rumble in the jungle. And it's going to happen. And we're going to be there when this thing goes, oh, man. And, and the beauty is we went, we stayed. And I can't wait for Chapter 2 meetings we have with people shine the light six months, a year from now, in the in the the look on their face of freedom because it's undeniable you'll be you'll have a glow and you're gonna be able to help family you're gonna be able to help friends anyway i'm all over the place because that's what i do uh at 12 o'clock otech pros are shining the light it'll be on youtube channels because obviously o connect is still down but I hope I inspire a little bit. I am not scripted. I never have been. I can't do it. I also can't talk under 10 minutes. But I really mean what I'm saying. And uh, Chris is making fun of me right now. But look, look, look. Daisy said I had nothing. He spoke longer than I did. All right. Anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Chris, who right now is doing the time freedom small version anyway love you all don't forget to look at uh otech pros today at noon red's not coming on at 11 o'clock chris said now all weekend. all weekend he's not going to be on. all weekend so you're stuck with me and chris otech pros yeah. oh and sunday will be heroes heroes yeah Okay, Chris, go ahead for the love of God, take it from me. Take it. Well, first of all, uh, as you can see, this is what time and freedom gets you. I put the glass on because my eyes are not really open. Uh, stayed up late, woke up at six in the morning, ready to go at it again and have some fun. That's my time freedom. But I, before I start with that, I want to do a few birthdays today. Happy birthday to Manjit Singe. Oh, here comes the barges for the fireworks. Uh, happy birthday, Abdul Majid. Happy birthday to me, Raj Delvey. Happy birthday, Niraj. Jeffrey Morlock, happy birthday. Oh, Marty, I'm going to let you announce this one. Go ahead for this one. Okay, listen. Happy birthday to Mr. Tony Monk. <laughs> no, and I want to tell you something. We've had fallout here and there and all, but I want to tell you the truth. He's got a lot of talent. He's got a lot of skill in the industry. Um, he introduced me to the OTEC guys. In fact, well, he introduced me to the uh, the Hero webinar, and that's where I met them. But I want to wish him a happy birthday. Uh, I hope you have a great one. And um, I see you in the chat here, so I'm glad you're here. Anyway, he's a good guy. He's helped thousands of people. So I just wanted to say that. And then I'm going to turn it back over to Chris. <laughs> he reminded me and reminded me. I'm not going to forget him. So happy birthday, Tony, and everyone else. Uh, wow, time and freedom. Um, what can I say about it? My, As you can see, I don't care what I look like. All right, but I will hide the eyes because they look horrible. But uh, time and freedom is going to give you the ability to, when you go on a vacation, now just think about this. We've talked about it many times. When you're going on vacation, and most of us, and I, I know a lot of you will think this, is you go to a, maybe a, a gift shop. I uh, can't really afford that. Oh, can't really afford that. Nope. And, you know, your vacation kind of is dwindling down. You want maybe you want to get that beach towel and can't afford that. Just imagine being on vacation and being able to walk into any store 
and get things that you've always wanted to get. Because most of us do that. We budget our vacations, uh, you know, gas, boats, whatever it is. Right now I'm sitting here watching them bring the um, barge in uh, for the fireworks tonight. There's a kid, young kid fishing off the dock over here. I got the beautiful lake right in front of me. To me, that's my time in freedom. Uh, everyone's got something different, but it's really fun. I'm having a blast. I got to watch my kids uh, and my son-in-law fish yesterday. I put it on my Facebook showing you how much fun I'm having because that's what life is supposed to be. It's supposed to be fun. Most of us work our entire lives and we get a few weeks out of the year to have some fun. No, I, I want to tear up. I want to tear it up. I want to have a lot of fun with a lot of things and uh, just keep going. That's what I want everyone to do. But if you if you sit down and think about your life, maybe you went on some nice vacations. Maybe there's people out here that's never been on a vacation. That, <coughs> that's the people that I want to see. I can't wait to see pictures on our, our social media of things that people are doing. Um, that's really, really what it's all about for me. There's so many things that this company offers. And I, I think a lot of people forget that. But, uh, you know, we, we've talked about it for, for quite a while now. Marty, a lot longer than I have. And we've taught you how to maybe how to engage a little more to get what you want a little faster. Uh, we've told you you don't have to do anything. We've said that you can go enjoy yourself. You hear Ash Mafara saying it all the time. Go do what you do. Go do what you got to do. But I'll say this again. Ash Mafara never said quit your job. He said keep doing what you're doing. Let me get this going. Oh, oh, hold on. Newsflash. Oh, uh, our sites are still down. <laughs> and that's why I'm still here. Uh, jokingly. Uh, because I know I'd have to be doing a lot of work with Shine the Light, which we're going to continue. But it's it's really about right now. I took advantage. I took advantage of a situation. Notice I'm still here every day. Uh, and I'm going to continue to do that unless I'm driving. But I think I should be good. But that's what it's about. Getting in your car and just going. Getting in your truck. Getting in your van. Getting in your RV. Getting on your boat. And going. And not worry like boaters. But gas is expensive. You go. You take off in your boat. You can only go so far because you're buying. I got I don't have no more money for gas. We better head back. I want you to keep going. And in passive, you're going to be able to keep going. In other words, you're looking at an island 10 miles out. And you know you ain't got the money to fill that boat to get there. You're going to have the money to fill that boat. Uh, you're going to go past that island. And you're going to keep seeing different things every single day. That's what life is supposed to be. It's supposed to be about having fun. Helping people. Sharing the love. Giving the love. And just be positive. We live in a world that's so negative right now. It's it's hard not to be negative all the time when you see all the stuff that's on television and people dying and starving. Uh, that's something that we're really going to work hard on changing. Like I said, Ash has some really big things coming for Obless. You're going to be blown away by when you see it. Uh, I'm excited about it, but I'm just excited right now because I'm living how I want to live. Uh, I'm retired. Um Worked many years to get this, but I want everyone to know that this is a blast. Knowing that you could just go somewhere and do something anytime you want. Uh, or for 30, oh, let's say 40 years, I didn't have that. Okay, I got a, whew, two more weeks. I'm off for a week. And then I go back to the same gut-wrenching lifestyle of work, 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 nonstop. And it was miserable. Listen, one, two weeks off a week. Uh, it's not fair. <laughs> I know that's part of the policy on a lot of these workplaces, but you can't, you really can't enjoy yourself. If you're going to go to Hawaii, a week isn't enough. And I've never been to Hawaii, by the way. If you're going to travel overseas, a week isn't enough. Make it soon with passive that you're going to be able to go to these places and stay until you're sick of it. You're going to go to Greece, stay until you're sick of it and then fly somewhere else. Now that's a vacation. Uh, have fun. Uh, if you do drink, drink, drink very, very, uh, how do I say that word? Don't drive if you're drinking. Don't drive. Sit down, have some drinks, have some fun with your friends and family. We are having a blast here. I wish I can show you the whole scope of it, but it's hard to, because uh, my laptop only looks one way. But and Passive is going to bring us all this freedom. I'm going to tell you that right now. And I can't wait to see people that's never had freedom or time. And it's going to be, it's, it's going to blow everyone away. I do want to say a couple prayers out. Um, 
uh, our sister Robin Noble. She's going through some pretty stuff, tough stuff right now. And I'm asking you to uh, reach down deep and pray for her. Also, Rob Gorman. I heard he's got some issues. We're going to pray. Uh, and anyone else that's sick that I don't know about, uh, pray for him. It, it never hurts to prayer. It only helps. And that's what we do when I'm passive. We pray. We got different religions, different things people think about, but we all pray. Uh, and it's for the good of uh it's for the good of the world, to be honest with you. So that's pretty much all I got today. I'm going to get my, this is my last big 4th of July party, or 4th of July party. Uh, over 80 people are going to be here. Yesterday, you've seen a few people. We had about 20. And uh, the fireworks are literally right in front of my RV. And like I said, the barge is sitting right here. They're ready, they're ready to dump in the water. So it's going to be a blast. I'll try to make some videos. But man, listen to me. I want to see your videos. I love going on social media and seeing what people are doing because that excites me. That makes me even love and passive more. So get out there. Have some fun today. If you got to go to work, I'm sorry, but I did it for years, so I'm not sorry. Do what you got to do. Once Ash Bafar gets this thing popping, man, it's all uphill from there. Let's put it that way. Marty DeGarmo, back to you. Fantastic. Also, big shout out. Uh, Jeffrey Morlock, happy birthday. Thanks for all that you've done for people. It, it, I hear people say it in every webinar. You're one of the ones that you probably helped a lot of people get in that aren't actually even in your business. But uh, yeah, everybody knows your name, that's for sure. And uh, Niraj, you're a great guy. Happy birthday to you and uh have a great day yeah i'm gonna shut it down because in an hour and a half i gotta come back on <laughs> and we're gonna do uh o tech pros so it should be on the youtube channels i want to thank everybody and get ready because time freedom's on the highway you're on just keep going the highway you're on right now, called on passive, you're going to get time time freedom. It's coming. I really believe that with all my heart. Anyway, we'll see you all and have a great day.